right now! Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? So we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? I need to this up. I am. More frequency. That's RV at the end of the walkway. Out of those stairs. I ain't going anywhere, Davey, until some more of these guys kill each other. Who's... guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the Bureau get killed. They're still on me. We're clear. I'm moving up to the room. Reflecting. 
pool. Get down here, Michael. Building on my left. This crawling with them. More rogue agents on the walkway. A senseless waste of human life. Sniper, get down. So tell me, Davy. Who are these bureau men trying to kill me? Okay? Look out! Up there! I thought you were the corrupt division! Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. Very with a bird incoming. These guys don't have a funding problem. Can someone do something about that chopper? They'll be bringing bodies out of here by the truckload! What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop them at the water cooler on Monday? a bloodbath! You've got to go across the walkway to the other side of the complex to get down. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're going to get off it. They didn't mention this shit in the guidebook! Merriweather, at war in the USA. you take, the longer I gotta wait to kill you, Em. Oh, Merriweather guys, across the walkway from me. <gasps> A senseless waste of human life. Another chopper! Oh, 
crap! was fun. What are you doing? Well, my I want to be good. Isn't this the attention you were looking for?
This motherfucker clean. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay has some song.
Namor is Franklin. You got a friend of ours. Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. There's more of them coming. A lot more. Moving, guys, come on. We go out this way, we'll have some cover for Michael's gun. We are walking, all right? your ass. All right, you too. Go, 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 go. Hey, T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Hey, we getting out of here, man. Let's go. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap you. Wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dawg. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz ain't. Nigga. God damn! Perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there. Is we ever gonna get a proper introduction, dog? I can take care of myself. Go! T, call me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supplies. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got the jump. Shit! 
bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Motherfucker! Killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit. Which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz end. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to... Thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Fuck! Clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No. I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on? What y'all? What was going on back here? Good shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? All right, all right, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first... in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Pro Street. I 
don't take kindly to touch it. Grove Street. That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you... You think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man. Maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save it? You can drive my car. Man, what's your major motherfucking malfunction? You show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. <laughs> nigga. So I guess... Oh, you trying to roll on me, <laughs> Forty-five on um, Forum Drive in Strawberry. 